In this video, we will show you how to fix our upload speed is so slow. In here, for example, when you try to using speedtest.net to test your download and upload speed, you can see there your download and upload speed is not the same for the connection. While we sure from the internet provider the connection of download and upload speed is similar. Okay, in my case, my download speed is 50 megabyte per second. And the upload speed, you can see there. It just only approximately 4 until 5 megabytes per second. Why this happen? Okay, you can see there, just only 3 megabyte per second. Why this happen? Okay, in my experience and in my case, this happen because we accidentally creating network for virtual devices. You can see there. In my case, you can see there is network bridge and Hyper-V virtual Ethernet adapter creating by Hyper-V manager programs. Okay. So, to restore your upload speed, you need to remove the virtual network on this network connection. Okay, but don't delete the physically device for your Wi-Fi and for your Ethernet. And if you don't know about this, it's better you asking the technical person or technician or IT person. Okay, in my case, my virtual for the network just only do this. So, we need to remove all of our virtual network here. Okay, and I will show you why this op or boot is appear in here. I will show you in the last of this video. But, let's just restore our connection first. Okay, once again, I will test my speed for the download and upload you can see this is just for make sure the problem is appear because this okay you can see here while we seeing our network you can see this is our download and upload speed okay it's not the same and upload speed is so slow or your download speed slow and upload speed is faster you can try using this method to restore your connection but make sure your internet connection from internet provider is also like uh, what you think in my case my download speed is approximately 50 megabyte per second and my upload speed actually must have this connection also or must have this speed. Let's restore it. First, I will delete the network bridge. Just delete this because this is not physically. Okay. If you accidentally delete your physically devices, you need to restore it via installing the driver. Just doing carefully in here. And okay. This is for Hyper-V. I will disable first because we cannot delete. I will show you how to delete them. Okay, this is will disable. Okay, then in here, let's using the new tab to open speed test again. Okay, and try to using speed test to see the difference. This is for download speed. Okay, this is our previous. Let's see our upload speed later in here. Download speed is fine. Now you can see there our upload speed. Now it's almost the same with the download speed. Just because we accidentally creating 
these virtual network devices. And why this virtual network is appear? Like I say, it's because the Hyper-V manager. And to remove them, you can just select your Hyper-V virtual switch manager. And you can see, this is W data. If you see on our network, W data. To remove this, just click remove on the Hyper-V. And maybe this is also creating by another program, so you must find it. And click apply to remove and click OK. When you back into the here and see your network status and test, okay, now has been removed. Okay, you can see there. And you can see if we try to speed test again, it will normally approximately half speed is 50 megabytes per second for the download and upload. Okay, this is our our first try and this is our second try and this is our third try. Okay, voila. Our upload speed now is boost again. And maybe this will help you how to fix your upload speed. Okay, hope this video is fully for you.